Hello to you. My name is Maria Konjelska and this is Poland Daily Culture. What Poland and China have in common? Actually, quite a lot. Here with me is Algert Uziembu, a sinologist. Thank you very much for being with us. Nice meeting you all. Sir, you speak so many languages because you speak English. Chinese, I mean Mandarin, and some dialects, oh, Chinese those, dialects. Those are all legions, it's not true. I speak only one Japanese, language. Japanese, no, no, Russian, only... and Polish. No, 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 I speak only one language, which is Polish. All the rest I still learn. Okay, you still learn. <laughs> yes, it's, it's, I'm still learning and it, this is a lot of th things to learn. Chinese has so many dialects. Well, of course, that, that's what really, what, what actually kills us when we start with Mandarin and then we realize that it's just just a scratch. Well, that's a nice thought. <laughs> but you are also a teacher of, I would say already many, I may not say generations, but a lot of, lot of students. Well, not generations yet. <laughs> but, but huge amounts of students yes. uh, bringing, bringing them like, making them familiar with Chinese, with Mandarin, here in Warsaw, in Poland. And of course, you are what also my teacher said. <laughs> well, you don't have to, you know. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll see how... She's learning Chinese and she's a good student, yes. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, one thing, is it hard for Polish people to learn Chinese? No, I actually have a special project teaching Chinese without characters. Wow, that's, that sounds crazy. That sounds absolutely crazy. It's not well accepted, although I'm cooperating now with the Czech Republic. Really? One of the universities, the Olomots, in a very famous university, setting up such a teaching project. I've already done two years in Warsaw. And this is the fact that for us, teach, learning, speaking Chinese, if it is done properly, is not difficult. Also maybe because of the pronouns and pronunciation, because uh, yeah, she, it's she, close enough to Polish for us to emulate close. Chinese well. The trick is to not to pay attention too much to the tones, more to the prosody of the sentence. And what we s spoke about with my Czech colleague, David Ucher, is that it's very important to learn a lot of things to speak before we start teaching writing. Just as a normal child, Normal Chinese children, they speak Chinese before they, they learn writing. I've heard and this is And this is important because we start at the same moment, usually, in our courses, like in your courses. We learn speaking and writing at the same time. Although this year I reduced the load of writing a bit. Well, I haven't recognized their yes, reaction. Yes, <laughs> because it's still a lot. It's still usually a lot. Usually it's more. I've heard that the Chinese children are happy until six years old and then they start writing. Yes, but then they, they read Chinese and, and all that legion that Chinese writing is somehow different and influences the mind and that's why... Imagine in 1920s they still thought that teaching Chinese characters would reduce the possibility to think, their ability to think. I think it actually broadens well, now there the is mind. another myth. <laughs> that that, that broadens well. your mind. Now this is not broadening your mind. This is evolution of writing system. Come on, who is flying to the moon? Chinese. Chinese Japanese are flying the Hayabusa. And they both write in very ancient writing system. Absolutely, it's, it's extremely interesting. In the moment when you start to realize that it 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 actually has a meaning, it, it opens. It's it's fabulous, but it's crazy as well. So, so teaching Polish people is not difficult. The the, the jump that is difficult to make is the moment that we start learning characters. But also Polish uh, sinologist tradition is very rich and at Warsaw University you don't only teach those brave students who picked up sinology, like to oh, learn. Sinology is uh, in Warsaw University is quite hard. And what they've decided to for is learning also Mm, you teach them also traditional characters, not only Well, the, the, this is the whole set of abilities that uh, Warsaw University tries to provide. One is teaching traditional characters as they were used in China for the last 2,000 years, because there was a reform of the, of the characters of the writing system that was very simplified, and now what is used by all China is simplified characters, so we teach both sets. If you want to use sources of of Chinese 
uh, from before the revolution, you have to know those characters. If you want to use Taiwanese or uh, Hong Kong sources, you also need to know those characters. But not only that, we also teach, class uh, teach classical Chinese. Classical Chinese is something different? is a completely different language. No way. This is unfair. <laughs> yes, if, if you ask anybody who, who graduated, I guess there are sinologies now in Poland that are trying to emulate that teaching classical Chinese. It's a very good idea. Because it gives you an incredible grasp of the inside work, workings of the culture. Although it is for students, I don't know whether you ever studied law, but lawyers, they hate the Roman law. Yes, I've tried, I've started studying law and... It, <laughs> and the first okay. exam with Roman law is like, oh, God damn it. It's the same with the classical Chinese. Does a third year students in our case, it's hard. So, but just to say that, that when, when you finish Polish uh, Synology at Warsaw University, you have a very good base of understanding Chinese culture. Yes of understanding the language. Provided you also went to China. And we try to provide our students with such a chance. As a university and also students have... The lucky thing is, since it is so hard to get into Sinology, because those are three departments that, that, that are the most wanted. Japanese, Korean and Chinese studies. They are just juggling first, third and second place you know, uh, during the qualification series. Since we get so good students, we don't have problems with student activities. So students are very active. They organize a lot of trips. They all organize a lot of exchanges by themselves. So most of them have also a chance to go to China, which is another crucial part. First, very good basis. Second, going to China. So if any of you viewers of Poland Daily think that learning Chinese is a difficult thing, or we are not able to be Poles. That's not true. Our Synology at Warsaw University is fabulous. And if you would like to pick it up, then go and check if you're able to do. And thank you very much for watching Poland Daily Culture.